One other uh, question I've got for you that uh, is a little bit awkward and might be a little bit awkward to answer. So I just acknowledge that okay. up front. But you mentioned you have won multiple awards now. You've been on the New York Times bestselling list. We just read uh, the nice things that Kirk has had to say about you a little bit earlier in the program. So now with that body of clear evidence that you are successful as an author, do you still feel that same pressure that you felt in the beginning? Do you feel all new pressure? Is there ever a moment where you say, hey, I've made it. I want to keep writing, but I have made it. I don't think the pressure ever goes away. And I have never felt an I made it moment. Um, I know how lucky I am that this is my full-time job. I mean, this is a dream and I'm so fortunate. But no, I never look at it. even the best things that have happened to me and think, okay, no, I'm there. Um, in part because a lot of those big things happened to me so early in my writing career. I mean, it was my very first book that hit the New York Times list. The Shadows is still my most awarded book. Um, and, you know, you hope that you improve. <laughs> that in the eight or nine years since then, I'm, I'm hopefully a better writer. But you never know what's going to draw the attention, what's going to get the awards, what's going to get the nominations. Um, so no, I, I, I still get rejections all the time. I get rejections for poems or for some event that doesn't invite me or, I mean, yeah, it's just writing is a constant cycle of acceptance and rejection. So maybe if I someday get to the point where no one ever tells me no again, <laughs> then I'll feel like I've made it. But I certainly don't feel that way now. Every day I'm still trying to write better than I did before, and yeah, make fewer mistakes. <laughs> well, I suspect at this point, uh, if, if, if I were to reach that stage and no one ever told me no anymore, I'd start to get insecure about why is no one telling me no? <laughs> <laughs> yep, there must be something wrong. 